Hello friends, I am Murshidul Arifin and I am the course instructor of this course. In this course, I have shown how to create a simple email newsletter sign-up process using PHP, MySQL, Ajax and Bootstrap 5. I am going to show you what I have included in this project. In this project, I have created a nice layout using Bootstrap 5. I have created the navigation menu and I have created a simple newsletter box. If a subscriber give his email address in this box and click on the button, he will get an email and his information will be saved into the database. Then if he click on the link that is sent to his email, then he will be confirmed as a subscriber in this system. I have done the full programming using PHP and Ajax. As I have used Ajax, so there will be no page refresh here. I am showing you what I have done. Suppose uh, a person want to give his email address, but if he keep blank, then what will happen? If he go and click here, he will see a message email is required if he give some string but which is not an email address if he click on this button now he will see a message email is invalid that means a complete email validation is given here if he put such kind of email that is already stored in the database then it will be shown that the email exists so in order to send good uh, in order to give a proper email address you will have to give such kind of email address that is not stored in the database so now if we give the correct email address a email is sending to his email address and within few seconds he will see Please check your email to confirm the email subscription. Check your spam folder too if you do not receive the email in the normal email inbox. I have used mail tab to show it. So uh, here you will see that an email comes and from this link he can confirm his email. So if he click here, he will see that subscription is successful. So I have shown the complete process step by step also after completing the comp uh, the full work i have uploaded the task on the web server and showed how to create email how to zip and uh, stack files into the um, web server using cpanel and i have only also shown how to create database and user using web server and this project is working well in local server and web server in both places. I hope you will enjoy the course. Thank you so much. Hello. I am going to show how to install Jam server and from where you can download Jam server. Go to Google and search by Jam. You will be taken to the Apache Friends website. Click on here. And you will be taken to the home page. From here, you can download Jam or you can go to the download section. You can download Jam for Windows or Linux or Mac operating system. I am using Windows and this version I have installed on my computer. After installing the Jam server, you can easily run it. The, inst the installation process is very easy. You can just double click on the exe file and next next this way you can install jump on your computer after uh, jump uh, start after jump uh, install on your computer you can start it using the start button okay this way so you see that the apache and mysql will be started and then your local uh, computer is ready uh, to run your PHP files. Hi.
now i will show you how to use a text editor for your uh, programming because um, the default notepad editor is not uh, too smart to do coding so you can use sublime text or atom editor or bracket or php storm or any other editor for this project i am going to use sublime text so uh, search by sublime text on google and then you will see the official website of sublime text after going to this website you can download sublime text for windows okay after downloading simply install the sublime text and you will see an interface like this this is the sidebar uh, this will not come first time first time it will be this way then i will have to enable it show sidebar first time under tools there is a install package manager so you have to install the package manager and when you install the package manager, uh, package manager then you can start the package control from preference and here you can install all your packages you need i have installed emit package here uh, to run my application because i use uh, the html and css very easily with it um, uh, using very short form so emit was essential for me but you can uh, use any other packages you need you can use any color scheme or other things so okay uh, simply install and enjoy hi in this video i am going to create the layout for our project so in order to create the front end interface for our project i have gone into the htdocs folder of my jam now i will create here a new folder for my project i can give a name here project newsletter sign up so i can uh, now uh, go to my sublime text editor and drag this folder here what i can do is i can create new new file here or you can use the notepad uh, you can use your sublime text to create a new file from here new file uh, it is named untitled now you go to save or control s then you can create a index.php file here so a new file has been created using the sublime text if you go here you will see a new file has been created so now here i will write the html code for my project go to firefox and search for bootstrap 5 go to the home page of the bootstrap 5 then go to uh, bottom section here there is a starter template or you can use image to create a html format so first use this symbol uh, you will see already a nice view of uh, of this symbol comes here because if you use this symbol and then press the tab button then this code automatically comes this is uh, made using the inmate plugin of sublime text that i had installed in the last video so here i can write codes uh according uh, to me uh, what i can uh, do is uh, i can copy uh, codes from here or alternately i can write codes i am not going to copy the codes i am going to write the codes okay so use link colon css this is image short code and then press on tab you do not write to write all the things so uh, i did not need to write this i just use a short version of this code i am going to show you again link css then press tab from your computer so okay uh, similar way i can use the script uh, and then press on tab then write src equal to something 
so in order to use the bootstrap uh, what i need i will actually need the bootstrap.min.css i am going to copy this copy and paste hit enter this is the bootstrap.min.css i can save this file save page as if you go here uh, i will go to my uh, c drive jam htdocs then project newsletter sign up project and here i can create a new folder give it a name css then save this enter into the css folder save this file there another thing is js file that is bootstrap bundle you can use this bundle or you can use a straight the bootstrap.min.js file for bootstrap 5 if i want to use the bootstrap js from here i will copy and then paste go and similar way save this file save page as then in my project i will create a js folder and put all my js codes here go to into folder and go into that folder and save if i go uh, in my folder i will see that there is a css file bootstrap and there is a js bootstrap now i will link those files into my with my php so copy this again uh, make css and this is my bootstrap.min.css and i will create another file here that is a style.css that will be my custom css file new css enter enter and this is my js this will be bootstrap.min.js this is my js file so bootstrap.min.js i can use a jquery though jquery is not needed but if you want you can use jquery here okay because bootstrap 5 comes without jquery so you it is not needed but in order to use other animations or other things uh, sometimes you will need to use jquery on your application so i can go to the download use jquery latest version this is a minify version and save page as bootstrap js okay here i write it here so i call that jquery to here here you see uh, i am going to copy the name from here and paste it uh, here what i will do now i am going to save this file uh, if you want to run this file localhost http localhost then our folder name what is our folder name our folder name is project newsletter sign up i am going to copy it from here and i am going to run it here paste and go oh no actually localhost paste here then enter but i uh, you see there is no output because i did not write any code in the body tag of my s of my php file so i am going to make some lay make a nice layout here i am going to search nav in the bootstrap search box you will see a nav bar click here and nav bar means actually the main uh, actually the menu so uh, hot menu i will use this menu is good okay i am going to copy it and paste it here now i can format it well you can nicely format it button okay div so this is a good format okay 
so navbar if i want if i load uh, this is the navbar actually okay this is navbar and these are links i do not need those links and uh, instead of navbar i give the name it project uh, link it to the home page index.php the home is okay index.php and i do not need this i will only use an export option here but link that later now refresh the page what i see is home page and export what is export export means if uh, i if some subscribers make themselves subscribed in this system then i will get a list of subscribers so if i want uh, to export the list of those subscribers who actually have signed up successfully in the system um, using the newsletter uh, sign up form then i can easily export those to use uh, those in any application for example i can uh, export information here as csv format and then i can use those email addresses for email marketing or other uh, purposes right so uh, what i will do is uh, if someone click on the export link then all the subscriber list will be exported as csv format so i am not going to do that now i will do that later time but now uh, i will need here to input a email subscription form so i will use the bootstrap 5 form and you can size here uh, you can search here by form go to form control this is a simple form you will get a lot of form system here so you can use any form okay or if you again search by form you will uh, see here other form controls layouts etc comes here if we go to layout this is a layout okay so use anything here uh, anything from here i am going to copy this code before using form i will use container then row then row bootstrap column suppose i use a small column then form post method post then i paste the copied code here from bootstrap uh, why not going so this one if i run this i will see the form comes here but i will use a nice form here i am going to write something email address refresh this is a placeholder text i do not need i do not need to use placeholder here this is a good form now i will use a button okay submit button i will do a styling here bootstrap button primary class so this will be a bootstrap button refresh it oh i did not write anything i write something here newsletter submit or subscriber uh, newsletter subscription so this is a button uh, you can write anything here that is not important okay so email address newsletter subscription button i will uh, do some styling here i am going um, to take all these 
into a section that I will call sign up box sign up box you know uh, I created a style.css for my project I am going to copy this sign up box here dot sign up box I will do some styling here suppose uh, I will use a background color background color light blue a padding here 20 pixel and margin to the top suppose 20 pixel now if I run this file this comes so you can style it um, anyway I can also put this in the middle suppose uh, with row I use deflex display flex actually this is bootstrap class you can study the bootstrap class if you do not understand what I am writing justify content center so the child div will be centered refresh this is centered you can uh, use I am going to remove the margin Lo uh, let's look how it comes uh, this looks better I think okay so uh, what I can do is uh, make the top padding larger 50 pixel and left and right side with some pixel so it looks better okay so this is our email address and newsletter subscription button so uh, my front end is near to be completed I will only uh, create uh, a final page that I will name as success page okay when a person will go in this form give his email address and click on this button an email address will be sent to his email address so if he click the email address from here he his subscription will be successful and in that case he will be redirected to a success page so I am going to make a success.php file here success.php here I can copy this the whole on um, the whole code and then paste here and instead of the sign up box I am going to create a success box and in that success box you can use bootstrap alert suppose alerts uh, this is a success alert I am going to copy a success alert from here and paste here so here uh, I can write a sample text uh, subscription is successful and this success box uh, let's see how it looks here I will run this uh, this success page success.php enter so this message will come this is good or you can alter alternately make a container row column d5 you can put this codes here and similar like before deflex justified content center then refresh this subscription is successful this will come in this way 
uh, in this case I can style this, this class margin top 20 pixel if uh, save this space and run this subscription is successful okay so I have created uh, this simple layout for my project one is uh, the index space and another is success space hi in this video I will create the database and table for this project so go to your web browser then type http localhost php my admin here then press enter if you press enter uh, so what will happen uh, the php my admin interface will come using the php my admin interface you can create your database and manage database for your application so i will create a database uh, for this project so i come in the php my admin then you will see that here is a databases option just click here and here a create database option will come in front of you so give a name of your new database you can put any name in this case we put the name as project newsletter sign up so this is our database name now click on create button database has been created successfully but in this database there is no table uh, created so what we need is we should create a new table so in order to create a new table first you have to select database and then in the create table option give the name of your database table so i here give uh, the name of table uh, i will give the name subscribers because actually i am going to store my subscribers in this table so what will be the columns for this table one column is id then you will have to make another column sub subscriber email then you will have to create a token value because we will create a verification link using that token field and a status uh, we will make for this subscriber active or inactive if you want you can save uh, more information for example you can store the subscriber creation date or submit date activate date etc so initially i am going to create four columns if i need to create more i will add those later so i am going to click on go button you will see four fields come here uh, and i will have to give column names first name is id second name is email third name i will give as token and fourth name i will give is a status for token i am going to set up um, varchar you can uh, use varchar as a string or you can use text so um, use anything no problem for email address uh, you can use varchar or anything text uh, no issue actually and for id will be integer because this will be auto increment field and we will not manually give anything here the id will be automatic increased increased when a new subscriber comes in this system so in order to make it auto increment i will have to select the auto increment field so here uh, we will have to select index first this is a uh, primary uh, key actually i will need to make this as a primary or unique key here so i set up primary key here 
and in the rightmost side uh, you will see there is auto increment so i will put the tick mark in auto increment this is auto increment value okay uh, so everything is set new uh, then i go to the bottom side and you will see the save button click here and the table has been created successfully uh, for the subscribers but one thing here that is i uh, forgot to set up the status because uh, i will not make a status integer so what i can do uh, it may sometimes happen because you can forget to enter something you know, when you will create the table so you can edit anything uh, afterwards this is very easy just go to a structure first you have to go database then select table then go to a structure then uh, for a status field if you want to change the uh, type of it uh, click on change and from here you can change the name okay uh, so for example suppose i am going to uh, select that type as barker not integer for barker i am going to put suppose 20 characters because my status will be pending or active so pending is uh, uh, pending is uh, seven characters actually or active uh, active will be six characters so you can set up maximum seven character here also i am going to put 10 now click on save barker means a string barker means a string so a status will be a string uh, token and email also a string but uh, those are text format and no limitation of number of characters this is the main difference here so my table creation task is completed hi in this video i will show you how to create a connection between php and database so in order to create the connection i will now create a config.php file in my application and i will bring this into my sublime text editor now here i will write the connection codes connection codes is very simple first i will give the i will give the name a variable db host and i will put the value of this variable as local host i will make another variable that is db name this is actually the database name of this project the database we created in the last project is project newsletter sign up so this is our database name project newsletter sign up then i will have to give another name that is database username in this case i am using localhost and uh, i am mean, i am using local server and for my local server the default username is root and db pass is database user password that means password for the root user by default the password of root user is empty but if you have set any password for the root user you have to put that password in this place as i have no password here i am keeping this as blank now i am using a try cache block to create my connection this is my try cache block in the try block i will establish the connection i am using a object of pdo of the pdo class this pdo class is provided by the php here i will name my database style that is mysql i am using the mysql database in this project so i am writing mysql and this then host equal to here i will put the host 
variable that I created DV host. So I put the name here and this is my host name. Then a semicolon I will have to give and then DV name equal to this DV name variable. I copy it and paste here DV name. After that I will have to give here a comma and then db user and another parameter is db pass. So my database uh, connection has been established but on uh, more line I need to write that is I have to call the function I have to call a function set attribute that is default function and I am going to give two parameters here a ttr err mode and another one is pdo error mode err mode exception now if my database connection is successful I will show a message here success but if it is not successful then the cache block will automatically work and I will use a PDO exception here make a variable ex and call another function to show the message I will show this message connection error hot error I will get from get message function so if connection is not established and any error happens then I will uh, see the actual error message using this so now I go to my project localhost project newsletter sign up project folder and then config.php enter after pressing the enter I see a message that success message because my connection is successful but if I give a wrong name in the database suppose 123 or something then save this file then if I try to run this you will see a connection error message and it is saying that unknown database this because I do not have any database by this name so I back it again refresh and it is success again if I give the username uh, wrong username and save and refresh this file you see that access denied for the user root on to three localhost that means I do not uh, have any user by this name so in this way now uh, we see that our connection is successful and echo success I actually do not need this so I am removing this and this is the final code to connect between PHP and database. Hi, in this video I will show you how to give the email address in this form and then click on the newsletter subscription and this form data is saved into database. So let's start. I am going uh, to open up my index.php file. Here is actually uh, the form. Okay. So what, I, uh, so what we can do, uh, first we need to include my config.php file into the top of the PHP because I will have to include uh, because uh, I will need the database connection codes to connect my PHP with the database because when a person will fill up this form and give his email address and click on this button then this email address will be saved into the project newsletter sign up database and in this table subscribers table so i need to create the connection establish the connection so i will create the uh, i will call the config.php file here 
so i will include it using the include function of php config.php okay so database connection has been established now what i will do uh, i will uh, send the form information uh, using the ajax so here form action i will give a form action i will uh, use a form action here um, where i will send my information uh, suppose uh, a user give his email address here something his email address then click here then where the information will go i will create another php ajax dot php save this file and here i will create a new file ajax dot php save so this is my ajax dot php file here i will write some codes mm. ajax dot php okay i will create database connection establish the connection here also now what i will do is this this is my input text field so i am going i will delete the id attribute not needed i am going to give the field name uh, i will give it a name suppose email this email i will give this email uh, name email means in this email variable my email address will be passed uh, into the ajax then ajax uh, using ajax i will check it uh, uh, with ajax and php and then i will store it into the database so to use the variable i will use the email i i can give any name here okay so i put here uh, the variable name email this is attribute and this is value this value will be passed uh, as a variable format i will show you it sometimes later so uh, what is uh, the step uh, i should follow now now i will go to footer and write some codes but before writing the codes here i will do another thing that is uh, i give a class uh, into the form at, uh, into the form tag um, and give it a name suppose uh, form newsletter this is my class i will copy uh, this class and i will use it later now in the bottom i will create a function so at so what i am going to do i am writing a jquery function here i will use ajax with jquery and so i have just written uh, the function using jquery here i use the strict mode on then what i will do is I will create document ready function. I will use that document dot ready, and I will use function here. Function this way. So I can write my jQuery codes into the document dot ready function. Now what I will write is. i will now call the class name that i have created i copied that i am just pasting it here the form newsletter this is my class name which class this is the class so i call it here and i will write code that is on submit okay 
so here I will give the submit as parameter then function this way form newsletter on submit that means if a person give this email address here using this form give his email address here and then click on submit then then action will be happen that means if someone go into the form and click on submit button that means this is the form so he click on the submit button no matter if he give email address or not but if he click on submit button then what will happen i am going to write the code for that so this is the form newsletter uh, my form name and in this form there is a submit button so if someone click on the submit button so on submit that means click on the submit button or anyhow he hit the submit button then what will happen so i will write the code here so i write event default as in initialization uh, then i will uh, call a variable uh, take a variable suppose form data i will take all the form data in this way new form data class and this is the attribute this form okay then let form equal to this now what i will do is i will use the ajax dot variable dot ajax okay now i will write my code here i will give some parameters that is url url is this dot action and then i will give type we know we send the data using the post type and then data is form data because i take the form data into this variable so my data attribute value is form data now what I'll, uh, i will do that is uh, there is uh, one thing url what is url url is ajax.php that means uh, in this url data will be passed using the post method and hot data will be passed that is form data and if the action is success action is successful then what will happen i will write a function here using the parameter data and then i will take the variable data in json json dot parse sorry parse data because we will pass the data in json format from there now what will happen if this data that i get using the json from as a return value from the ajax.php file that i will pass uh, that i will return from this file uh, this will come here and then i will check if data uh, has any error message data dot error message i will show what will uh, what is the error message later uh, data is error message then what will happen then i will show you can use any uh, plugin third party plugin uh, suppose sol uh, or you can uh, use sweet alert or anything 
but I am now going uh, to show the error message uh, using the simple uh, JavaScript alert. So I am using here alert, and in alert, I will show the data dot error message. Then I will use the else. So what is my else? Else mean is everything okay? Then I will empty the form. Okay, empty dot reset uh, form dot reset. That means I will empty the form again, and I will show the success message. Alert data dot success message. So I will show the data in this way. Then uh, after success, this is success. Okay. Then I will write um, some default parameters. Suppose cash, uh, you can make it false. Then content type false and process data false. So success, okay, give it okay. Uh, okay, let's try what happened. And uh, uh, I am going to write some code in my azure.php. And actually, uh, this is the main uh, conditional code that uh, I will uh, write here because you see, uh, I created here a email, okay the name equal to email the form name i give the form name as email so i will take the variable here this is my post variable the post data will come using this variable okay and what i will do as i am uh, sending this data as a post method so i will do one thing here if is set post email that means if someone clicks uh, post uh, post data um, then it will enter into this if condition otherwise not so post email i am taking this into another variable uh, that is email variable and no uh, now i will use a try cache block try cache block and here i will check everything suppose the email address is empty if user give the variable as empty that means if he does not put anything in the email address field and then click what i will do i will throw an exception throw new exception and show the error message here uh, i can write email is required okay so i write this uh, and in cat i uh, i need to uh, complete the catch function because otherwise i cannot uh, check the uh, error message actually so I am going to write exception here if an error message variable that I used in Ajax. So I am going to put the error message here that is e get message function default. So it will uh, show the error message. So what get message will do? Get message will take all the 
uh, exception values suppose i get an error in this case in this line okay if email uh, equal equal empty uh, if user give the email as empty then this message will come using this function get message function so and after getting the message using get message i am taking that into a variable that error message i am taking into a variable that is error message error underscore message so what i can do uh, i will do one trick here i will declare an array of error messages and put error messages data here uh, and in the top i will do one thing because as i have uh, dec uh, used an array um, if for some reason it becomes empty it, it can uh, throw an error so i am initializing the array arr equal array so arr equal to array i initialize this and use this array error message equal to error message now i will check but before i go to check i have one step still now what is the step the step is after everything is done i will always return the value as a json format json encode format what value array value so array can contain error messages or success messages if error messages that is okay array will take the error messages and convert it as a json encode format and then return and that that value i will get here json dot parse that means the json encoded value will parse here and i will get that into data variable so data dot error message if uh, error message comes from here i will get error message and if success message come here i will get success message here okay so now let's check our code if everything works well i am refreshing it uh, sometimes uh, control f5 will be needed remember this now i will check this if you uh, look at the browser it will not refresh because i have used ajax here so click here you see there is no refresh just an alert box some email is recorded that means this is working well now i will do uh, next thing that is i will check if this email is valid or invalid so let's check if this email is valid or invalid if i will use the filter bar uh, of php filter bar i will checking this first parameter will be email and second parameter will be filter validate email sorry here will be if that means if my email and filter validate email is built in php function it will check if this variable is a valid email or not if filter var email uh, then not filter var not filter var email this not i am using not because if not validate okay then uh, exception will throw and it will show me email is invalid okay let's uh, check now refresh email is record now you give an email which is actually not uh, this is actually not email 
the email is invalid okay so this is what we need next what i will check there is another thing to check that is uh, if a person try to subscribe using the same email two times he will not be able to do it so in that case i will have to check if this email already exist into my database so this is my database table subscribers i will uh, check it here i will run a query select query in php to check if this email exist in the system if this email already exist then it will tell the user that your email already exist so let's uh, write code pdo was our object if we go to config.php file you see that we established the pdo connection and put a variable used here a variable pdo so we will use as we include the config so we will use the pdo object so pdo prepare pdo object and prepare function okay in the prepare function we will write the codes to check from database that is select all i will i am checking database select all from which table i will have to give table name subscribers that means i am selecting all rows from subscribers where using the where i am i will check where email equal question here i am using question symbol but if you want you can use bind param system video has two system one is bind param you can use a bind param system or you can use question mark as a placeholder so i am using question mark because this seems easy to me and i have to write less codes in this system and if you use this question mark your application will be secured against sql injection so sql injection will be applied here and no one can uh, do sql injection on your code or on your form so this is a secured against sql injection so uh, i am checking if in the subscribers table where email equal that means in subscriber in the subscriber table i am checking it with the email column if uh, there is email here but at, as there is no email here uh, i can easily insert the first data i will show you no problem the statement variable i am uh, using a statement variable to pick this information then i will execute in this execute i will have to use an array and i will give the value to this email because where email this email is um, database field name i am checking email email equal to hot this hot means our email that i put in this email variable input data input email is in this variable so i am checking if email is my input email if this match if one one row matched then it will tell me that data cannot be inserted okay now i will uh, run a query uh, that is a row count because i do not need to pull all all data i will just use a built in function row count and total variable i will declaring 
and I am keeping the total row count into total variable. That means after checking every row, if there is any email that match with our email, it will check every row. If it gets one row or multiple rows, actually here multiple rows not possible because uh, no two same emails will be uh, inserted into the row, into the database. So it is not possible to get two rows, but one row will, we will get one row here every time. So one row or multiple rows, that is not the problem. The issue is if I get minimum one row, if I get more than one row in any case in others, uh, other project or anywhere, that is a problem. This total variable will be one or bigger if I get one or multiple rows. If I get one row, then the value of that total variable will be one. If I get five rows, then I will get the variable value five. But if I do not get any row, any single row I do not get, then the value of total variable will be zero. So I am checking if I get any existing database value, if total, that means if I get any value, one or bigger than one, then a exception will happen and I will write here email exist email exists that means email uh, that email exists in the system but if nothing happens then I will uh, create a success message here success message I am I will show uh, everything goes well. I just put anything. So let's check. Refresh the form. Email required. Okay. I put anything, but if not email format, then email is invalid. And if I give uh, a good email address everything goes well okay that means our success message is also working how it works you see here is a success message so success message is passing from here to here okay so this is uh, our uh, layout uh, and i have checked the validation already now what i will do I will insert the information into the database. If everything goes well, then here I will run an insert query with PDO and PHP. Okay. So if everything goes well, what I will do? I will use this line and this line again, but change the select query because now I am going to insert. So nothing to select. So I will write insert into table name subscribers. That means I am going to insert data into the subscribers tables. So insert into where subscribers table. Now I have to give the field names. We know in the subscriber table the fields name are id email token status but i will not give the id because id is an auto increment field so it will be incremented as one two three etc by default so i do not use that i will use email token status so i will give here email token status and here i will have to write values okay values and here i will give the values but as i want to protect sql injection i will use the placeholder question mark 
and always remember if there is one question mark its value will come into first variable from error but here you see here i use three question mark that means first one email second token and third status these are the database fields but in execute i will follow the order okay first question mark value will pass from here second question mark value will pass from second value here and third will pass from third value here so first value is email we already have email into a variable we put it as the first value second value is token but we do not have declared or uh, put any token value anywhere yet so what i will do is i will use a token token means i will create a unique random values i will create a unique random value uh, what is the purpose of it you will understand uh, when i will show you the purpose of it i am just going to create a random value um, that can be our date uh, date function y n d that means year month uh, day and hour minute second and am or pm format that means currently this time i am getting every second by this value that means this is a unique value then i am going uh, to convert this um, md5 uh, i i mean i I am using an encryption function md5 and to convert this value in, into a encrypted format or you can use any value here but mm, be sure mm, the bad people uh, cannot guess that value okay so uh, if you can encrypt it using md5 or, or share or any other function that is better so i am using I have encrypted it using MD5, and another is a status. So I can use the status as pending until the subscriber goes to his email and click on the verification link. The status will be pending, but if he click on the verification link, then the status will be changed. But initially, the status will be pending. Okay. so token i created already variable and using that token and third variable is the status i already have given the value here pending so this value will be inserted into the database so let's check uh, email is record okay aa gmail.com click on new newsletter subscription it is inserted okay uh, but no message is showing now i check for uh, another time control f5 full refresh email record email exist if i give new email in order to uh, get that error i again ref uh, refresh try to get another one mm, okay nothing comes okay here data is uh, coming but problem is it is not showing the success message is not showing so something there is wrong Uh, okay remember one thing uh, if uh, we want to debug anything in php uh, when some errors come the f uh, then you first go go into jam okay jam then uh, go to apache and then go to logs 
here you will see the error dot log open it with notepad with your sublime text we see that there is an error uh, of uh, error that we see why mba is a real set so get function something happened here problem is probably here okay okay i am going to remove this uh, that should work but i am not sure why i am this php file version is not working i am going to use empty int okay uh, to get a random value empty rand and then i will convert that random value into md5 hash okay uh, so i test again control f5 uh, what i can do is i am going to clean everything or to increment again reset one and then truncate the table data so it is clean again i am killing everything from beginning this email first i am checking if error is working email is required okay uh, uh, email is invalid okay it is working uh, then give it this one everything goes well okay now um, after uh, showing the success message the form uh, is automatically empty because we wrote the code here that uh, if it is success then form dot reset so it is going to be empty so i go here subscribers mm, yes it is coming and our uh, ajax is working well i give the same data again it will uh, show us email exist so you see our ajax is working and the subscriber are saving into the our database but the status is pending in next video we will send email to the subscribers so that they can verify thank you hi in this video i am going to show you how to send email to the subscribers email address in order to check the email i will go to a website mail trap i will use the email sandbox mail trap is a email sandbox system that means from local server you can test your email you do not need to upload your files to the web server you can just use your local server and use mail trap to check if email is going successfully so in order to use mail trap you have to sign up the mail app sign up the mail trap and you can sign up here using your email address you can sign up uh, to this mail trap with your email or you can also sign up with your github or google account or office 365 account so um, i already have account here i am going to log in using that account so i am login to mail trap after login to mail trap you will see inbox so here i click my inbox and here you will see smtp settings so i will use the smtp system to send email this is my smtp host this is smtp port this is smtp user and this is smtp password now uh, I will use the PHP mail app to send my email. This is an email sending library of PHP. This is open source and so you can use this library for your projects. So I will download first download zip. download the library 
then go to the folder where I have downloaded this is my downloaded zip I am going to uh, unzip this extract and this is my main folder I am going to use the SRC uh, here are some files I am going to copy those now I back to my project folder in my project folder I create a mail folder and put those PHP files into there now how I will use mail a PHP mailer to send emails here are the instructions uh, they are telling me to use this code I am going to copy it now we see uh, now you see uh, this is my mail folder and sx.php last tutorial uh, we saw that we were inserting uh, email to the subscriber table subscriber email and other information of subscriber but in this case we will in the same time send email to the subscriber for his verification so i copied the code of php mailer and paste it after the include function here you see path here my path is mail mail slash so i am using the path mail slash exception because my files are here now here we will use their codes there are more codes these are include functions then we have to use this copy this is the object of php mailer uh, then these are the mail sending codes we will need these codes i am going to copy up to this okay copy and paste here I am removing the attachment I do not need attachment I am going to remove the old body you will comment to make the course clean added this to added this I am using one only add reply to okay ccbcc I am removing so from image from address means from where your email is going the email is going from your server so i can use the server email address uh, this is name i can use the name for now uh, this is not important you can put any name or not Add address means to which email i am going to send the email so here i am going to send the email to the subscriber's email so here the subscriber email address will come that is in the email variable you know then after that reply to i am going to same reply to address of the server uh, reply to is not important you can remove this this is not important here okay the subject line will be uh, subscriber verification and in the body i will tell something to the subscriber please click on the following link to confirm your subscription here i can use html tags because his html is set true so here i will use I, I am going to use the verification this is the verification link suppose I am going to create the verification variable like this I will create a verification link before that verification link equal to what will be verification link the verification link will be suppose uh, I will create a page here verification 
verify subscriber verify subscriber dot php so this is a php page i will verify a subscriber using the code here but in this page i will take some code from a url that means when uh, a link will be sent to the subscriber email then uh, what will be that link this is my website url i will put that as a link this is verification link and i am going going to send this subscriber to verify subscriber page okay verify subscriber dot php this page so i write this so this file is open now in this file i am going to pass some php variable one is email and another is token so what is email email is user's email as this is a variable i am concatting the string here similarly with token i am going to concat the token variable so token variable is sent into the database and saved here and another copy is going uh, to the email address as a verification link so when a when uh, user will click on this verification link so he will go to this file will email uh, uh, with the email variable and taking the value of email there and with token variable where the token value will be this and i will match these values with the database if that exist in this table if this that does not exist in that table then user cannot access this space so only valid users can access the verify subscriber page so this is the system i develop here this is my verification link I am going to uh, show that link to user and when click he will go to this URL using the anchor tag. So this is actually my verification. Uh, so to, che uh, to check the email I have some other things to do that is I have to set up the SMTP information using the mail tab you see this is the smtp hostname i am going to copy the hostname from here and paste it here replace i am going to copy the port this and paste the port here and i am going to copy the username from here and paste the username here and i am going to copy the password here and paste here one more thing I have to change is SMTP secure. This will be TLS encryption. So I am going to use the TLS. So my other configurations are okay. So let's test uh, what is going to do. I am going uh, here. so let, uh, let's give an email address suppose this is email address i'm going to click here let's see if it is saved into the database yes it is saved in the database c36 md pending okay and in mail trap i am going to click on inbox checking if email uh, comes no because my subscriber verification this is the subject but i see no subject yet uh, so what is wrong here verification link verification here body subject mail sent okay email address token comes well okay mail variable mail trap p 
ESP mailer mail So here I use to use why I am going uh, to check the thing again here I miss SMTP okay because I uh, copied the code from here but here they did not use the SMTP okay so that is the problem but in the in this example they use SMTP so I missed one line so I am going to replace this now I try again subscribe okay i am deleting it again refresh control s5 this one newsletter subscription we see that uh, here message not comes but we see that the subscriber verification the email comes here okay that email is sending and in database that data is going so what is the error um, actually this is not error but uh, somehow data is not parsing json data or something we will check that later this one called going well but after success message this is not coming mm, yes subscription another link so those are working but that is coming but uh, this form cannot send okay we will um fix it later uh, now let's finish the current uh, options so we see that uh, first time aa at the rate of gmail.com here email comes okay uh, so uh, user uh, token is this and this is the token of the user now what i will uh, we will do is we will verify uh, the subscription for this user hi in this video we will see how to verify the subscriber in the last video we saw that the subscriber is receiving a link like this now if he click on this link what will happen as there is no code in our verify subscriber.php so we see a blank page if we go to verify uh, subscriber.php then we have to write something here first what will we do we will first check if this subscriber is a valid subscriber so i copy uh, code from here this code i am not going to write it i am copying this now what i will check i will check if this is a valid subscriber or not so uh, select all from subscribers where email equal to this and another condition will be needed token equal to what so email comes through uh, the request because you see in email we send data using this method question email equal to something that means as uh, the information is coming using the encode tag so um, the variable will come using the request variable this is the variable and token value will come using the token request variable this one so i will check 
my subscribers table that is here where email equal to this and token equal to this so database email will be checked with the verification link email and database token will be checked with the verification link token so this will match if we get any information that match these values email and token pair then we will get a result here so if we get result that means if total that means if total we will get some result total means we get some values that means uh, the verification link the user clicked is okay and this is a valid link not bad users okay so if total then what we will do we will update the database i am going to copy this again and here we will change the query here uh, here we will write update we will update the subscribers table so we are going to write update subscribers and in this table we will change the values using set set what will we set we will just set the token value token equal to something and a status equal to something i mean question so what will be token we will make the token empty so first value we will pass a blank value for this question mark we will pass a blank value that means we are making the token empty and status we are going to make the status active that means the subscriber will be active subscriber so if uh, this goes well then we will redirect redirect to a success page that i created success.php success.php we will redirect straight to the success.php page and see the success message but if there is no total if total this will happen and subscriber will, will be verified but if else that means a person is trying to input illegal link then he will be redirected to any page suppose i will redirect him to the index.php page so uh, let's see what is going to be happened first i am going to copy this link paste it in a browser and first i will try uh, to verify this user but the token value is invalid suppose i am removing some from first and putting some according to my own then hit enter okay here i miss one thing i am uh, using pdo but i do not have any config that is the problem so i will have to include the config file here okay now i try this is an invalid link i am going to try to press the invalid uh, to go to the invalid link now you see it is redirecting you to the index.php page that i wrote here if something bad then it will redirect you to the index.php page now i am going to click on the real uh, valid page Cop click here and we see subscription is successful so go to here click on subscriber you see that subscriber is active here token and status equal to where okay but there is a problem the problem is all subscriber have been active so i am going to make the spending again the problem is i did not set any where 
condition here. This what it is doing? It is making all subscribers token zero and active, but not all subscribers. Here I will have to apply the condition. Set token and status where where what where email equal this and token equal this where email equal this email may uh, this email means this email the request email that comes so here we add request email and token means request token this token is that comes from the url and we are checking the email and token set we will only update that email and that token we will only update the token empty and start spending only for that where the token is this and email is this my token has uh, become empty so hot I can do I am reinserting token here from here and from here okay now let's go I am going to check uh, similarly uh, like before I am going to AA going to copy this link I do not hit first time I will make the token wrong enter Gmail and token equal to this okay forbidden successful success working well this one is active now okay and if I go to this subscription click here and now I see the second one is active now token zero so this is working uh, well but uh, for the wrong link I am going to try to do something this is uh, now redirecting me to the index.php page okay so if a token is wrong you cannot enter it will be redirected to the index.php page and if everything okay that will take you to the success page you see that right now hi now uh, i am going to show you how to fix the problem in the previous video where i uh, the success message was not uh, working uh, properly email was sending and data was saving into database but the success message was not sh showing so in this tutorial i will show you how to fix let's start suppose I go and enter I clean my table again and this is mail trap I am going to my inbox now let's start from beginning click here email is record give this email is invalid now I will enter an email this so this is the problem in subscriber it is coming and also in email you see that email comes right now so everything okay but problem is here the success message not showing and data is still into the text box so how to fix this in order to fix this here is a here oh, we see that SMTP debug so we have to just stop this debug mode then do this again I am giving another email address now I click here just wait few seconds yeah everything goes well okay this is banished it comes here email 
and we also uh, get the email very well so this was actually the fix we need to comment it out and then it will work in the case of success message everything goes well we write a good success message for example please check your email um, to confirm the email subscription check your spam folder too if you do not receive the email in the normal email inbox so we write a good message here hi now i will show you how this export link works if you click on export link the subscriber list will be downloaded to your computer so what i will do is i will work with the export link so this is our export link uh, i will create a file and the name of the file will be export.php suppose so i create a new file and give it export.php i write some codes here in a new untitled section i am going to copy that code and paste here i am not writing all the codes here i will have to uh, include the config.php file and this is the time actually i do not need this uh, i will have to use the header content types uh, as i will uh, export the file as csv format so content type will be text csv and character set is etf8 um, content disposition attachment file name here you will give the file name um, any file name subscriber leader csv for now output equal to it will open uh, in this file this will open as a output format okay f open php f open function then f put csv in csv uh, file i will make a column with sl and another column will be subscriber email then i will pull all data from our subscribers table our table name is subscribers where subscriber status actually our in this case status equal to uh, active right uh, so i give here uh, status active only active subscriber will be exported then this is the result function this is not needed face all to face all the information from the table i uh, we can use face all and in the result array all the information will come then i will use i have used for each loop here uh, to get every row one by one and f put csv here i will put everything mm, like first is id uh, row of id id means database id here this id and i need email and row of email here our row name is email if close the output uh, at last i will uh, close the output now click here go to export and you see that subscriber list is becoming click on ok it has been downloaded if i open the csv file i will see that all the subscribers has been exported as csv hi i will show you how to upload the project into our web server first go to our database then uh, click on export then click on go save file this will be needed so uh, i copy this file and put into our htdocs project folder okay we will import it in later time into the database hi this is my cpanel interface i am going to login into the cpanel i give my username and password then click on login this is my cpanel interface i will go to file manager and upload my files here 
in order to upload my files i will first need to compress those so i compress my files then i go to the public html folder of my server and create a new folder test to test my project okay I am going to put all my codes here I am going to put all my codes here drag and drop simple you can uh, go to upload click on upload here you can drag your file i am going to drag my files here upload is completed then go refresh and extract the files here i remove this delete the gif file enter into this select all move and i am moving this on a step forward so in my test folder all files come i am deleting this i do not need this and i do not need the sql file okay and delete this now i will create database and import my sql file so go to my sql database wizard give a db name here suppose db is my database name my username is for example usr password generator i copy a password from here paste paste that password then create user make sure you put the check mark here all privileges otherwise it will make a problem so make changes and okay task is done now i will go to php my admin and i see uh, that rfnd underscore db it comes here it comes here this is the database i, I created on the web server now i import my local server database okay um that i will go to access from c jam pht docs project folder here is the sql then click on go and my database has been added to my web server hi now i will create uh, email address from here email accounts i will create a new one click on create uh, create suppose contact at the rate of rfindip.com uh, give any password here generate I uh, copy this and create. So account has been created successfully. We can check our email from here. And this is our webmail login. Uh, open any with any email client so there is uh, no email comes here okay that is not a problem normally smtp uh, server becomes this server so i will use this as smtp and use email address and password for other information hi now i will check the application okay uh, from into the test folder uh, i see a file contact config.php file i am opening this file 
here I will have to change this information. In my case, what are the information? If you go rfnd underscore db, this is my database name. So I need to change my database name and my username was when I created this, right? If you go here database, my SQL database is you see that list here. This is my database name and this is username and password I saved here. And the first line, this is my database password, user password. Okay. Uh, now it is set. Save this. And another file I need to change is index. Sorry, ajax.php file because my SMTP information is there. Uh, we cannot use SMTP. Um, we cannot use mail trap as SMTP because we have real email address now we have created an email address and that will be our username contact at the rate of rfmdb.com and the password is that copied uh, here so i am getting the information from there paste here and ssl will be our secret protocol as i have installed ssl for my domain here and 465 is by default the port sometimes you need to uh, change this port to 587 or something uh, i am going to change the host name this is my host name this one and set from this is rfindev.com contact at the rate of from here email will go and our website address is this one so i am going to copy this and this is our verification link root address i need to change this okay now save changes run the application Uh, sometimes uh, if SSL is not activated this message can come so don't worry about this this is um, our application click on here email is required okay okay email is required these are working I uh, visit my database from server web server this is subscriber to now i will add a real subscriber i am going to run this and i am going to give my google gmail address here newsletter subscription please check your email to confirm subscription check your spam folder too okay i am going to check my email Sometimes if mail does not come, you may have to wait or you can check your spam folder. I see in my spam, spam folder, this comes. Please click on the following link to confirm subscription. First I see if it comes here as pending. Yes, in my web server it comes as pending. So from here I will click on here. And uh, the same problem is HTTPS. So that is successful. Uh, if uh, we don't uh, give the HTTPS, it will become successful. Now um, go to database subscriber. We see this is active. So if I go to the website and try to export save file subscriber list you see that my currently subscribed email has been added here in the export file so everything is working 